I'm back and I'm still cool. Today, we're going to rot. I have in front of me a wonderful plate of vegetarian dino nuggets. And I also have a beautiful can of crisp, cool, signature select cola. Okay. That sounded like a cartoon. Sometimes I just don't have the energy to do fucking anything. And that includes sitting up in bed, looking to the left, looking to the right, using my fingers to use my phone. Beyonce's new album came out, which is cool. It's really, really good. I haven't given it like a full thorough, what I would consider a good listening, but the few times I have played it through, I've really enjoyed it. My favorite songs so far are, I, her Blackbird cover is so good. It's crazy. I think Spaghetti, it made me laugh out loud when I heard it because it was just fucking, like it was nasty. These bitches are so fucking lucky Beyonce doesn't take herself seriously as a rapper because I swear to God, she would be dethroning all these motherfuckers. Two Most Wanted is so good. Levi's Jeans is so good. Yaya, ya, I really love. Oh, I love River Dance. Two Hands to Heaven. Sweet Honey Buckin. It's just brilliant. Also, you know what I love? I'm pretty sure, I think it, it still says this, let's see. On Wikipedia, when you search the album Cowboy Carter, it used to say, um, like, like all, all the stats about the album, it used to say the genre was Beyonce. I have a feeling that Lady Gaga is gonna come on act three because Lady Gaga has been kind of in her rock and roll bag recently. And I don't see Beyonce going into like 80s synth pop. You know what I mean? Especially if she just did Renaissance. So I think, it would make sense if if what everyone is saying is true, which is Beyonce's next record will be a rock album. It makes sense that Lady Gaga would be on that because I think that's kind of where she's been going. But also Lady Gaga has been teasing this fucking like fame monster 2.0 era. I don't know. Nobody knows. That's the fuck of it all. Is anyone else getting like exhausted of like the Blah! people on TikTok who are like so loud and in your face. But for some reason, that's the only fucking content that goes like viral. I think I'm burned out. <laughs> I think I'm having a bit of a hard time, but it's okay. The weather is getting warmer. And next week's the Drag Race finale, he said with no emotion and a flat affectation across his face. It's Nymphia Wind, Plain Jane, Q, and Safira Crystal. I think if I just had to go out on a limb and guess like what the vibe is gonna be for the crowning, it's obviously Safira's crown. She has like every single challenge win. And then underneath Safira, I think I'm gonna do, there's gonna be a lip sync between Plain and Nymphia. And it's gonna be really close. And I think Plain is gonna have us in the first half, but I have a feeling Nymphia Wind is gonna fucking turn her little pussy out and she's gonna take second place. So then our top four would be Sephira with the crown, Nymphia, Plain, and then Q. But I don't do drag. I just watch a TV show. Now that it's April, isn't it supposed to be getting fucking warmer? Because I have no under, like why is it so cold outside still? Why do I wake up fucking shivering every goddamn day? And then I look outside and there's flowers blooming. Hello, why have I not yet started to bloom? That's something I would like to know. My mom thought it was very endearing. I'll say she thought it was endearing. I don't know if she actually did. My mom always commented how I always use way more ketchup than I actually need. And I've been like that since I was a little kid. I'm not gonna grow out of it. Oh me, oh my. What a unique thing it is to be alive. It'll kill you if you're not careful. You know what I think I'm gonna do tonight? I think I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. Not from scratch, don't get me fucked up. I don't have the fucking energy to turn on this fucking expensive camera that does absolutely everything for me. All I have to do is literally take the screen and go flip, see? I don't even have the energy to do that. So I'm gonna get the pre-made fucking cookie dough that I bought at the grocery store for $900,000 because groceries are so expensive. <coughs> and then I'm going to bake those cookies and eat them. I miss my mom a lot. It's been hard. I just got new health insurance, which means I'm now making a bunch of doctor's appointments for myself. And even just talking about it right now gets me choked up because I'm used to making doctor's appointments for somebody else and compartmentalizing somebody else's business. And it's been really overwhelming for me in a sense to have to do this for myself. And it's also kind of triggering going to the doctors now. And that's not something I anticipated 
in the wake of losing my mom. I went to a pharmacy the other day to pick up a prescription for my dad. And this was a pharmacy that my mom had tons of prescriptions come through for years and years and years. So I was at that fucking pharmacy like four or five times a month for years. Obviously, in the eight months since my mom died, I haven't had a need to go to that pharmacy. I don't get prescriptions there. And um, my dad ended up getting a prescription sent to that pharmacy and I went to go get it anyway, it doesn't fucking matter. I got there and I just burst into tears when I walked through the door. And it was just, it was really difficult. And there are things that I expected to be hard for myself and there are things that I was told would be hard that did eventually come to fruition and they were hard. But now it's sort of just little things that I have to do to be alive. Switching bills from my mom's name to my name, not feeling the pressure or the, the ticking of the sands of time. I, it, it, while it was happening, while I was, I watched my mom die. And while it was happening, it felt like I was running out of time and that I then subsequently did run out of time. But now in a weird sort of sickening sense, all I have is time. And I think I'm still learning what to do with all of it. It's difficult for me sometimes to take care of myself because I was really, really good at taking care of my mom to the point where I just, I don't think I really know how to quite take care of myself yet. And that's something I need to learn and that's something I am learning. But in the meantime, it'll be a lot of trial and error on my part. If you made it this far, thanks for listening. Maybe you had some food with me and I hope that you're doing okay. Girl, bird flu is coming. You better be fucking careful. If bird flu starts spreading, I'm out of here. I'm flying all of my loved ones to a remote island off the coast of fucking Croatia and I'm gonna sink that island down into the ocean and no one's ever gonna fucking get to us ever again. Oh, I also got tickets to see Kathy Griffin in Provincetown this summer. Can't wait for that. All right, well, I'm not gonna cry everywhere else you see me on the internet, but if you do want to follow me anywhere else, everywhere else, I'm Cody Jacob.